Hey guys, what's up? It's the Epic Cuber here, and welcome to part number three of learning how to solve the Rubik's Cube using the Friedrichs Method. In the last episode, we learned how to do OLL, or Orient Last Layers, and that was basically just to get the whole top face a solid color, and not worry about the corners and the edges. In this episode, we're going to be learning PLL, which is the final step of the Friedrichs Method. This is basically orienting all of the corners and the edges to put them in the proper position to finally solve the cube. PLL stands for Permutate Last Layers. Now, just like OLL, there are a one look and a two look PLL. We're going to be learning PLL in this one, which is an easier one. There is only six algorithms as opposed to 21. So, what PLL one look is, is basically just solving the cube from a state without the corners in the correct position. So basically, you just solve it from a state without the corners. What we're going to be doing is we're going to get the corners into the proper position and then worry about the edges. So we're going to take it in two steps rather than one. So let's get started. There are two different algorithms that we're going to learn in order to put the corners in the correct places. Now, the first algorithm that we're going to learn applies when you have a pair of headlights. This algorithm is called the T-perm. And it's a little bit longer than the previous ones we've been learning, but don't worry. Um, just try and get your muscle memory in there, and you'll learn it in no time. So let's go ahead and jump in on the algorithm. I want you to hold the headlights on the left side of your puzzle. And the algorithm goes R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime. The next one that we're going to learn is called the Y permutation. And this one occurs when there are no corners present. So let's go ahead and jump to the algorithm. It is F R U prime R prime U prime R U R prime F prime R U R prime U prime R prime F R F prime. The first case that we're going to look at now that we have the, our edges paired is this where you have a solid block in the back and then you have three edges that are not in the proper positioning. And the edges need to move in a counterclockwise position. So see how this yellow needs to go here and this white needs to go here and this red needs to go here. So let's go ahead and jump into the algorithm. The algorithm goes R U prime R U R U R U prime R prime U prime R2. This next case that we're going to look at looks very similar to the previous one, all except for the edges need to move in a clockwise positioning rather than a counterclockwise positioning. So see how this red needs to come here, the white needs to come here, and the yellow needs to come here. Here's the algorithm. It is R2, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime, U, R prime. This next case appears like this, to where you have two edges that need to swap places on either side. So see how this yellow needs to swap with this white, and this red needs to swap with this orange to solve the cube. This algorithm is interesting because it involves something called an M-turn. And what the M-turn is, is is the middle layer. So I would reach behind with my ring finger and I would turn the middle layer, layer away from me if it were just a normal M slice turn. And if I would turn it towards me, it would be an M prime. So let's go ahead and jump into the algorithm. The algorithm is M2, U, M2, U2, M2, U, M2. All right, so we're already on our last case. This is how it appears. You have these edges which need to swap places. So this orange needs to swap with this white, and this red needs to swap with this yellow. So the way I would like you to hold the cube is that the two colors that need to be swapped are on the left side of the cube. So these two need to be swapped, so they need to be on this side. If I were to hold it like this, then these two would swap and that would not solve the puzzle. So let's go ahead and jump into the algorithm. The algorithm is M2, U, M2, U, M prime, U2, M2, U2, M prime, U2. Thanks so much guys for watching. We have come to the end of our video and this series. I hope this was of some help to you. 
and I hope it was enjoyable to watch also. If you have any questions, post them in the comments section below. That's all for now, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.